Often when you're out flying, you won't be able to launch or land your drone from the ground. This is where hand launching and landing comes in very handy. If you've never done this before, it can sound like a scary task, but after doing it a few times and following some best practices, you will be hand launching and landing safely and confidently. Since there's a lot going on with hand launching and catching, you're going to want to make sure you're in a wide open area free of obstructions while taking off. This is true in general, but since you're likely to be paying more attention to your screen and your drone, having a wide open space will make this process much easier. It's easy to become too relaxed after you hand launch or land enough times, and it's really important to always take your time when launching and landing so you don't hurt yourself or others by making a mistake by doing too many things at once or just getting too comfortable. Take your time and let the drone do the work. Launch and fly the drone away from you while you're standing in one spot. And when you're landing, let the drone come to you. A good rule of thumb when you're first starting out is to keep your elbow locked to ensure you're not allowing the propellers to spin too close to your face or anyone around you. If you want to be extra careful, you can try to keep your elbow close to your ear. That will ensure that you're keeping the drone as far and high away from you as possible. After you launch and land a few times, you'll find what's comfortable for you, but higher and farther away is always better and safer. The first rule of hand launching is always keep your fingers away from the props. You don't want to grab the drone and wrap your fingers around it to minimize the risk of cutting yourself on those props when they start spinning up. I only hold the bottom of the drone. If it's windy, I'll barely pinch the bottom sides with my thumb and index fingers to make sure while I'm taking off or landing, the wind doesn't blow it out of my hand one way or another. To launch the drone, push the sticks to the middle center, or even easier, use the takeoff button on the left hand side of the screen and your drone will begin to take off and fly out of your hand. After hand launching, it's a good idea to fly the drone away from you a little bit and just let the drone hover. When you're landing the drone, it's best to bring the drone back to you and fly about five feet overhead. Put your hand directly below the drone and press the left stick down. If you have a model with downward facing sensors that are enabled, the drone will pause a few feet above your hand while you're landing, but if you keep holding that stick down, the drone will land in your hand as usual. Again, keep your arm away from you while the props are spinning. I'm not a fan of using the land button while hand catching. If you're landing with the land button and a gust of wind slightly moves your drone out of the way, it will continue to try to land. But if you're using the stick to land and the, dr and the drone drifts a little bit, you can just fly up and reset the drone and then you can safely hand catch once the wind dies down a little bit. That being said, let's go outside and hand launch and catch our drone. So now we're ready to hand launch and catch our drone. Whenever I'm launching, I usually like to keep my thumb on the one side and my index and middle finger on the other just for a little bit of balance. Um, whenever the drone starts to take off, I just let the drone like release from my hands. Don't try to grip it or throw it or anything like that. The drone will do all of the work for you. So when it's time to launch, I typically like to just use the automated launch button on the app. So we are going to remember to keep our arm out and up. Here we go, hitting the button and taking off. So I didn't try to throw the drone. I didn't try to grab it and launch it up with my hand. Just let the drone do the work and it will launch straight out of your hand. So after you're done flying around and it's time to hand catch your drone, you can come back and stay in one spot and let the drone do the work. Let the drone come to you. And all you have to do is press down on this stick and it will land right in your hand. The downward obstacle avoidance sensors will kick in, so it may stop and hover for a second, but if you keep holding this down, you will continue to land right in your hand. Again, it's important to keep your arm out and up so you can keep the props away from you and anyone else. So here we go, catch landing. Staying in one spot and taking the drone to you will make your life a lot easier when it comes to landing, especially if there's wind.
It's really easy to catch when there are no real obstructions around, there's no wind. These are pretty ideal conditions, so if you're new to catch landing or launching your drone, it would be worth it to just go and find an open area like you could take off from the ground here but just practice landing and launching a couple times just to get confident so when there is a little bit of wind you're much more confident landing and launching your drone another thing when you're hand launching your drone it's a good idea to pay attention to the wind direction the last time i hand launched my drone and the reason this video came in mind to make was that i was unable to launch facing downwind because we were in a space on a boat where space was just limited to take off from that side. I knew I was taking off into the wind and I had to quickly get over and away from the boat to ensure that I had plenty of room and I didn't hit anything. It was the most sketchy hand launch I've ever had, but knowing that I had to get my drone up and away from the boat was really helpful. Make sure to pay attention to the wind direction while you're hand launching and catching your drone. Another tip about launching from a boat, if you're using the downward facing sensors, you're going to be battling the waves to a certain point. The downward sensors don't know that the waves are moving and they may start to drift around and it's a good idea to launch and fly away from the boat and hover and get situated and ready to fly. Another tip for launching is try to use a lanyard with your remote controller and wear it around your neck. This will make launching your drone much easier and you won't have to juggle your drone and controller as much. If your controller doesn't allow you to use a lanyard, try putting the remote on a flat surface and then launch the drone and then pick up your controller and fly away. Another thing that made my last boat launch so sketchy was the waves were tossing the boat around so much I couldn't keep my controller steady with one hand. So I had to put my controller down on a seat and then launch my drone and pick it up and fly the drone away. It was sketchy and the lanyard would have made it much less sketchy. So this is how you hand launch and catch your drone. I remember being stressed out the first time I had to hand launch my drone and it's gotten easier and easier to do over the years. Just remember to take your time and let the drone do the work. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with a friend. If you didn't enjoy this video, share it with someone you don't like. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end and I'll see you in the next one.